Hey guys, Rendon here with Let's Do Crypto. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a paper wallet that you can print out and use to secure your Bitcoin safely offline. So when it's done, you'll have uh, three paper wallets that look something like this. You can cut it out. It's roughly the size of a like a dollar bill or a euro, um, or you can just keep the whole sheet. You can write notes on it, but store this in like a fireproof safe or somewhere safe, and your cryptocurrency will be safe. Um, even if your computer were to crash or your wallet. So it's a good way to have a backup copy, or if you're very just ultra paranoid about losing your private keys, it's a great way to, to safe proof that as well. So we're gonna go to bit address. Maybe just do a Google search for it. It's www.bitaddress.org is the website. Just make sure you get to the correct address, uh, the, correct, the correct website address. So when you first visit the site, it's going to create all these little random dots and you'll notice the numbers are changing on the screen there. This is creating a, a, a very large random number to generate our uh, address from, our new address, our paper wallet. So now we see we have a couple of different options. We've got a single wallet, it gives us an address, a, a private key, and a public receiving address. But if we click here on paper wallet, now we see this is actually the exact same template for this one that I just printed off. And so it gives us three addresses right here. We have one, two, three. Uh, and it also gives us three private keys. So one, two, and three. It gives us QR codes for each one in case you want to redeem them or send from them. I know I send a lot on my smartphone. I just scan that QR code with my camera and deposit the funds. Uh, if you have funds on, a, on a, maybe say at Coinbase or Poloniex or Bitrex, you can just copy this. We'll highlight it, hit Control C. I'm just double clicking to highlight the whole thing. And if we go to like blockchain.info, just as an example, we can paste this address and look at this uh, address and see if there's been any activity on it. Now, since we just barely generated it, it's a completely ra random address that's never been seen before in the history of the universe, really. Uh, there's not gonna be any funds on it. And so, but we can do that same thing. So by pasting Control V, we can paste this key when we go to withdraw from Coinbase or Bitrex or some of these exchanges. Uh, and that way we can store it, but that's how you do it. And so to print this, you'll just hit print brings up your print dialog on your computer, print it out. You can print it color, black and white, doesn't really matter. Just make sure once it prints that you can see very clearly and read all the numbers and letters. This private key is a little bit smaller than the public key. Sometimes if your printer ink's running low, it's you, you'll be able to send to it, but you won't be able to redeem it. So make sure you can redeem uh, that private key. Uh, and then check out my other videos. I'll show you how to import a private key uh, using a mobile app or using uh, Bitcoin QT to spend those funds. Uh, but hopefully this video has been informative and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.